Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Vivian from the Paper Letter Blog, also known as the Chatty Pen Pal channel. And today I have a special project for you. We're going to make a 10 page flip book. Now I already mentioned this flip book uh, last week when I uploaded the video that kind of goes with this project. I made an entire Happy Meal box filled with little goodies and little things and this journal. So I already mentioned this flip book slash journal thingy and then um, now I have the video for you. And the reason why this in my opinion is a special video is because A, I quite love the project the way it turned out and B, um, I have lately been really into making smaller projects, shorter videos, uh, easier things to craft and I know that a lot of people also enjoy seeing the bigger projects and I can tell you a 10 page flip book is a big project for me so I hope that this is um, fun for everyone to watch especially those of you who might have missed my more elaborate projects. Now what I did in the beginning of this video is obviously create the base for this flip book. I did this entirely random. I mean, I didn't measure anything. I didn't, um, I didn't have specific sizes in mind. All I did is I created that outside cover, which is the pink design, pink and white design paper. And then I made sure that the other papers I had picked would fit inside that journal. So some of them are bigger, some of them, no, I mean, some of them are um, a certain size and then some of them are smaller and some of them are different. I don't know. It's just, I wanted it to be playful. I could have, of course, tried to make everything the same size. Hello, Sage. <laughs> tried to make everything the same size, but I um, wanted it to be kind of, uh, yeah, playful looking. I think I already said that. And now what we're going to do is we're going to start decorating. And the first thing I did is grab a big box of my Project Life cards. And I found one that matched the colors of um, the page next to it. So I decided to stick that onto that vintage book page. Um, on the right <laughs> and then uh, this page came together so quickly I just reached into a box of die cuts I found another similar color I found these dancing ladies that I quite liked and then I have some word stickers <clears throat> and I decided to add some of that this went super intuitively because normally I move things around for 20 minutes until I decide, okay, this is what I like. But this time I did it super intuitively and it turned out to be my favorite page. So is that a life lesson? Probably. <laughs> All right, and the tiny word stickers I chose said, dare to be powerful. Um, I will explain everything that is currently on my desk. On the left, we have the box of washi tape samples I currently like using. A little bit above the washi tape samples, we have a, uh, a lid of a little tin that has stamped images in it. So images I have stamped or images I've received that were stamped. Then above the flip book is my box of random die cuts. And on the right, we have the box of uh, project life cards. So the next thing I did is I found a die cut tag heart combination and I wrote hello you on the front. Sometimes I also like to include someone's name but because I wanted this flipbook to be um, yeah, I wanted the receiver which is Rebecca to be able to reuse this flipbook so I just thought I would say hello you because when I started this flipbook uh, my idea was for her to be able to reuse it as a journal. What I did here it might be going a bit fast to realize what's going on but I actually die cut some of that uh, printed paper and the die cut I have creates a cute little pocket with a um, fitting tag. So I decided to turn that tag into a cute little washi tape sample. Um, 
Another thing I've been trying to do desperately is reuse or finally use, I should say, paper scraps. So the entire book is made from paper scraps or vintage book pages, of course. Uh, and I'm also trying to die cut some of them, the paper scraps for uh, as goodies and as this pocket oh, that came out <laughs> very slowly but that is what I'm trying to do also what you might be seeing at the bottom is a blanket because I filmed this back in March uh, I filmed this back in March and it was cold so I wanted to sit in my craft room with a blanket call me a grandma I don't give a damn <laughs> so that's my blanket um it's from Ikea if anyone of you wants to know and the reason why it took me this long to actually edit this video is because you may have guessed it from how long this video is but it's super the footage is super long like the footage i made for this video is over three hours already and that i always like cut the camera if uh, i'm like gluing or cutting something out so i worked on this project for super long but still i had three hours of footage so can you imagine uh the uh <laughs> the strength and <laughs> the the willpower you needed to go through watching yourself craft for three hours it's quite quite a lot of course i speed these videos up quite a bit so <clears throat> i'm not actually watching three hours of footage but uh i still needed a little bit of a push to finally make this video so then someone said are you planning on doing more elaborate projects again soon? And I thought, okay, fine. That's my cue for finally upload editing and uploading this video. So there's that. Um, what I'm doing is I'm creating little embellishments for a Becca to use. Um, I had, I received a little baggie of goodies, of die cut goodies, and they had little tags in them and little butterflies and little keys. So I decided to turn them into little embellishments that I use as decoration now, but can be easily peeled off and then used as decoration for Becca. So she can reuse them if she likes. Yep, um, this project turned out quite pink. <laughs> uh, I have to admit, I love that very much. I do not craft with pink often enough. <laughs> I should definitely do that more often. So this is me sticking the embellishments down, but they're going to fall off quite a bit. So that's how easy they are to peel off. And what I wrote is handmade embellishments. And then I'm adding some more of those little elements around the page. Um, yeah, if I sound a little bit tired, <laughs> that is because I am. I had two days off, but I managed to always uh, have a massive to-do list because I rarely uh, can enjoy sitting still. I always overthink everything and then I think that on my days off I have to be productive as well. So I did a lot today. I also uh, edited a PO box opening video, which I should have uploaded last Friday because I'm already working ahead this time proud of myself um so i when i edit a p.o box opening video that's literally uh listening to myself for an hour <laughs> and that's quite annoying i can tell you editing out all the parts that i think are too annoying uh, so yeah <laughs> i'm a little bit tired of hearing myself talk i cannot be the only one um i just hate commented myself <laughs> but uh, okay i i'm quite happy cat again this is a day where sage was like really enthusiastically demanding a spot on my craft table but i am happy to work ahead because then i know that i will give myself some breathing space some room and i will i also know that if i work ahead now on this friday i will be able to hopefully relax on sunday like to actually have a weekend day off because i i i'm too harsh on myself very often 
and the thing is uh, what I do I've talked about this a long time ago but maybe some of you may remember but what I always do is when I have a day off or when I'm Netflixing I will tell myself that I need to do something useful or I will start to feel crappy or I will start to feel anxious because for some reason my mind says that you always have to um, tick boxes off of the to-do list and I will start to feel uneasy if I don't and so that is why I'm trying to prepare and work ahead of schedule so that I can hopefully have a weekend day on Sunday. Mm, what else? What else? Oh yeah, I, uh, you just saw me make a little sequin pocket. Basically, it's just an envelope filled with pretty sequins. And then again, in my eyes, it is a goodie because she can use these sequins as decorations or in shakers. But it's also looking pretty. So that's the best type of goodie when it's multi-functional. And then I also created a meal tag. But I think something happened with this. Um, I might have forgotten to put it in or did I change it? I don't actually remember what I did with that. Um, but some, there was something was up with this meal tag. But uh, Becca actually made a an unboxing video of my package. I will link that down below if I don't forget so that you can check it out. If you've watched my... Um, my box wrapping my happy meal box video as well as this one then you already know what's in there but it's really really fun to see her open it and see how excited she is with everything i've sent the only thing that is different from me from the video basically is that uh, this flip book was quite bulky when i finished it you may have like you may have seen that coming because it's i'm filling it with quite a, a lot of thick <laughs> big bulky things I don't know how to say that but um, it turned out to be too thick to actually fit in the box so what I ended up doing is I ended up taking a few things out and replacing them with sticky notes it's not as fun but I put a sticky note for example to say this is where a teacup embellishment was and then I put the teacup embellishment in the box so it's not as fun as her flipping through the flip book and immediately seeing all the pretty things, but it was kind of a um, <laughs> an assemble it yourself flip book because I did include all of the goodies that I included in this video. I just had to take them out and put them in the box because um, the box, it got too fat to fit in the box. And then when I put them next to the flip book, it did fit. So <laughs> that's good. Sometimes you have to make adjustments um, because in the end I could still send it as a flat parcel instead of a big box, which I was quite happy about because that would have cost me a kidney. So decorating this page, I have really, really cute die cuts. I know many of you might want these die cuts for yourself, but I have some bad news for all of us. The Etsy store, Etsy, it up the etsy shop that i got these from is closed i keep checking her instagram account to see if she's back but she's not uh, i think her etsy or her instagram name was meal made easy i'm pretty sure but she's it's gone they had she had really cute or i think it's a, co a collab of two brands i don't know but they had really really cute die kits many of them meal related so i'm happy i got some but now the shop is closed sad face so um i picked out a letter writing paper pink duh it had to be pink from my big stash of writing paper from la papier and then i found an envelope that also was made from vintage book pages um i received that in mail a while ago but since i used a vintage book page in my flip book as well I thought it would tie everything together nicely so I filled that up with a lot of random little things such as die cuts and little tags and thingies and then um, I'm just going to leave that open I think I left it open did I I forgot I'm just going to leave that open I think <laughs> so that <clears throat> you can already see that it has goodies inside then I have a really 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 pretty 
little sticky note that says no oh no it doesn't say anything but it has pretty flowers on it and then I wrote no rain no flowers because I don't know I kind of like that saying it's so true especially when I look at my own life I have to remind myself every now and then that we need the bad days in order to appreciate the good so I wanted to include that in there I keep having to pause my voiceover because of the stupid screen freezing, but in between I just checked the Etsy store again. It is called Meal Made Easy. I looked it up in my order history, but it's still closed. Sad face. I did find the, um, the Instagram account. It's called Writing a Letter, so I don't know. Maybe, hopefully, um, they'll reopen the shop once. But I don't need any more die cuts, so why am I checking this? I'm continuing the decoration with my sticker box. Yes, that is my box of sticker sheets. That's not even all. I'm embarrassed to admit I have way too many stickers. I don't know why I keep getting more. But that's my box of stickers and I'm going to use some rub-on stickers to decorate the next page. You may recognize these two pages are from Maggie Holmes. I don't know, it's either Carousel or Bloom or uh, quite an older paper pad because I love the older paper pads. Now I also wanted to talk to you about the video I did last Friday. I'm already editing this video as I said before I actually release the Friday video so I have no idea how the response is to my Friday video but last Friday I uploaded a PO box opening video which I love doing but I also included quite a serious note, <laughs> which was very, very scary, let me tell you that. Um, I In last Friday's video, in last Friday's meal opening video, I told you that I'm temporarily closing my PO box. Um, that was super scary for me to say, but ever since saying it out loud, ever since finishing that video, I've felt a little bit of relief because I know that I made the right decision. It's not because, yeah, this is Sage again. I just wanted to show her little mischief actions. Um, it's not because I don't love receiving mail. I mean, hello. I don't think I have to tell anyone, but receiving mail on a daily basis simply because you make videos on YouTube is such an honor like <laughs> I love it so much but I got very very behind with filming and I kept receiving more mail than I could film and I started feeling really guilty about that and I started worrying about it a lot and I realized that in order to find the balance in my life I need to give myself some space and with balance I mean I need to figure out um, how I want to combine my work life with my social life and my mental health which in my case is anxiety in combination with therapy uh, with my YouTube and my Patreon. And I've been postponing that moment, but it has been something that I keep running into. Like it has been something that I keep noticing. Um, like it's something that nags me, like I need to give it attention because um, the way I'm doing it now is just not feasible for me. Like I am... I was working on my YouTube channel more than I enjoyed doing and that is on me that's not on anyone and I'm not saying that I don't enjoy YouTube anymore because if I didn't enjoy it I wouldn't be here you can trust me on that but I did notice that if I didn't want to spoil it for myself I had to make a change so that is what I'm doing I really hope all of you understand and that I'm not making anyone upset it's temporarily closed I'm thinking until the end of the year, but I will have to see how it goes. Um, but if you have sent me mail before, you can always message me uh, if you have any questions, but all of the mail should still arrive. It's not like, uh, I like the address is changing or anything. I'm just temporarily closing it. So I also wanted to talk to you about that for a second because I... It, it's something that I'm kind of thinking about a lot, so I thought it would be weird not to talk about it now. Oh, talking about something being weird not to talk about. I know some of you are going to wonder what the heck I'm drinking. It's actually hot chocolate, which is not that weird, but I had 
um, marshmallows in the shape of fries on top of them because I didn't have normal marshmallows and I did for some reason have fry shaped marshmallows uh, so I put some of those on there and the reason why I had them is because last year Christmas uh, in the Netherlands I don't know about other companies but other countries but it's normal if you work for a big company or if you work for a company in general to receive a Christmas box and in a Christmas box you will have all sorts of goodies that you can use around the house or you will get food related stuff and we actually received a coffee and tea themed box last year so we had tea in there and coffee beans and great coffee uh, French press and cups and uh, stuff like that and cookies and chocolate and then also fry shaped marshmallows because why the hell not <laughs> very random but I had them left because I'm not I don't regularly eat marshmallows but marshmallows on your hot chocolate that's always a good idea so I decided to include some and then I realized that it would probably look very weird on camera so that's my story for today um, you're going to hear me say this if you watch my videos like every every time every if you watch every video you're going to hear this a lot more often because I um, yeah because I need everyone to know of course I don't know what I did here oh yeah I was looking for a quote I was looking for a quote because whenever I don't know what to do with a page or whenever it's a bit blank I think maybe I can add a quote so that's what I'm gonna do I have these butterfly stamped butterflies I think they are stickers I think someone stamped them for me in mail I'm actually pretty sure and I loved them on that heart pink heart page but then the question always is what do we do now The quote I ended up picking is another beautiful one. I really like short quotes. If any of you know any of these short, short quotes, let me know. I'm actually keeping a little notebook with short quotes. It is, but what if I fall? Oh, but darling, what if you fly? It sounds really stupid when I read it out loud, but I think it's very pretty. It's again, good meaning as well. Like basically for me especially like what if I fail and then the answer is what if you succeed but this sounds a lot better and I thought what if I fall or what if I fly uh, actually like the flying matches the butterflies so super random but I thought it was kind of cute then of course me being the washi tape sticker hoarder I actually decided to share some with um, Becca um, so I made a little goodie bag with some and then I'm also going to decorate that little page with a washi tape sticker as well um, yeah what else can I tell you in the beginning of the video I already stuck down the teacup embellishment that's on the last page because I don't know I felt like it kind of fit perfectly I've had that embellishment for probably two years ever since I started my PO books it's if I remember correctly I received it so long ago but now I finally found use for it so it's traveled onto a new owner the last thing I'm going to do is decorate the front of the flip book I always struggle with this like do you do minimal do you do super busy do you decorate it at all if it's a journal I don't know but in the end I quite liked it so what I'm doing is I'm die cutting um, those green it's a sticker paper actually green sticker paper with the word love and then I'm also die cutting and the same word uh, from a piece of vellum with little golden dots on it I just didn't know which one I liked best Whenever I make a flip book, 
an elaborate flipbook <laughs> or a flipbook in general. I always struggle with how to fill all of the pages. For some reason when I do just a collage it feels too empty so I usually put goodies on every page but then of course if you do 10 pages <laughs> that's a lot of goodies. So I'm also trying to find my own kind of minimalistic style and focus on cats the whole time, uh, focus on uh, making things look pretty as well as including a lot of goodies. So I'm kind of finding my way. I did that with this flip quite a bit. I mean, there are a lot of pages that have my letter or goodies or sequins or something, but there's also a couple pages that have just decorations. So I'm slowly learning. Quotes is definitely my style as well as, of course, little embellishments and things that can be reused later. This is me trying to find an envelope or a box to send it in and then realizing, okay, all of this is too thick. Oh, I mean, the flip book is like too fat for all of them. So in the end, I picked a box. As I already said, you can watch the video from the box I picked. Um, I will link that down below. I ended up picking a box. This video is not finished, by the way. I'm just showing you like a temporary the look so far. I ended up picking a box and taking some of the goodies out. I already told you that, <laughs> but um, that's just me explaining. What I wanted to tell you is I actually started a little journal, a little notebook, I should say. It's not a journal and it's an idea notebook. I've seen someone else do this. It's uh, hello, my name is Beck on Instagram and here on YouTube. And she did a notebook filled with ideas that you can do. And the first page I of course had to start is a goodies page. So what goodies can I include in mail? So far I filled up half a page, so it's not a lot, but I want to know from you all if you have some ideas for goodies I can include. I have, um, I'm mainly writing while, for example, editing the PO box opening video. I was editing that today as well, I also already told you that, but then I just decided to start uh, listing all of the things that I liked and that I might not immediately think about, such as um, vintage images die cut. That sounds weird, but I mean instead of just cutting out a vintage image, uh, cutting it out in pretty shapes. <laughs> such as circles, I don't know, that just looks very pleasing. Um, so that's me showing you how fat the flipbook got. So I'm making a list and basically my question is, feel free to leave a comment down below with fun goodies you like including in your flipbooks or in your mail. Of course I already know about washi tape samples and embellishments and stickers and die cuts, but there might be a ton more things that I don't think about, such as paper strips or buttons, I love including buttons, ribbon, sh a shaker, brads. Um, fabric flowers, I'm just reading out loud now, a twine or thread sample, little envelopes, layered die cuts, project life cards, handmade stamp embellishments, <laughs> all things that you can include and I uh, need more ideas. <laughs> so leave me a comment down below, also feel free to tag me on Instagram if you have something fun that you think I could include. And yeah, let us continue this list together. I really hope you enjoyed this video. This is the end. I'm just showing you everything up close once more. My favorite part of the video is uh, the finished look, of course, um, as well as choosing the paper, not gonna lie. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That really helps me reach more people as well as, of course, you guys leaving a comment down below or sharing it with friends. If you aren't, sub if you aren't subscribed yet, it would be really cool if you would think about subscribing to my channel and I will see you again soon. I also want to once again massively thank, say a massive thanks to my patrons who support me every month and help me make tough decisions <laughs> as well as are a fun group of uh, like-minded people. I will leave all of their names at the end of course as always. Uh, but yeah, special thanks to my patrons and of course regular thanks to all of you as well. I hope you are doing amazing and... Stay crafty. <laughs> okay, bye-bye.